Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. Some of you may know I've looked before at healing with monks, both in and out of combat, and compared it to healing in defensive buildings. The quick summary was monks healing during a fight often don't have a big impact on the outcome, at least compared to conversions during a fight or fully healing between fights to squeeze some extra value out of your army. In fact, swapping out some military units for an equivalent value of monks to heal was in all cases I tried actually a detrimental move. Healing mid-fight only seemed to do well if you already started with an army advantage, which isn't particularly impressive. Recently though, the Byzantines had a change that makes me wonder if that conclusion needs to be looked at again, at least for that particular civilization. In the last patch, Byzantines had their monk team bonus increased from a plus 50% healing rate to plus 100%. So for this quick follow-up video, we're going to look into how that changes the utility of Byzantine monks, both in and out of combat. Let's check it out. To quantify the new change, the basic monk healing rate is 150 HP per minute. So Byzantines and their allies went from 225 to 300 with the new change. That's enough to heal a Byzantine knight without bloodlines from 1 HP to full health in 20 in-game seconds, or a fully upgraded elite cataphract in half a minute. Additional monks healing the same unit always do half their usual healing rate as well. So for any civilization, you need 3 monks to heal a single unit twice as quickly as 1 monk. To start with the conventional use of healing, we'll take a look at a post-fight situation. We'll say you have some units that took a good fight and survived, or managed to escape some sort of battle and they need healing up. Given the improved healing rate, it probably won't be a surprise to learn that healing expensive units with monks gives a lot of economic value when compared to retraining the same units from scratch. If you convert the healing rate with the new change into a comparable number of resources being salvaged, while healing most Byzantine units, you're getting something similar to adding anywhere from 12 to 20 villagers temporarily to your economy. Keep in mind the crossbow line tends to look a little inflated from this perspective because they have a relatively high cost for their HP, and the Byzantine discount on some units makes them look less important to heal, as they're cheaper to replace. Still, the fact that even 4 or 5 monks healing for a minute or two could indirectly be on the same scale as doubling your economy for that time period. On paper at least, Byzantine monks can give a lot of value, even outside of relics and conversions. The benefit of healing between fights is pretty intuitive though in my opinion, and the more interesting question for me is now whether Byzantines can use their super healing monks during combat as field medics to actually swing an otherwise losing fight. Previously, I found swapping out units for an equivalent resource worth of monks to heal was always a losing play, as monks just couldn't heal fast enough to make that worth it. I'll start here by noting that 3 knights and 4 monks are basically equivalent in total resources, so we can set up a fair fight by making that substitution. Here, Cyan has 17 knights being healed by 4 Byzantine monks, against 20 of Red's knights, giving us essentially balanced resources. Now, the fight can really go either way, but more often than not in repeated testing, there's a slight edge for Cyan, which I found surprising. It can still spiral in Red's favor, and there's always randomness in fights that make the outcome a little unpredictable. But this is the first time I've seen monks healing mid-battle actually justify their cost over just making additional units. Part of what's happening is the double healing rate hits a critical point where Byzantine monks can essentially negate the damage that one knight is doing to another. Even for an unarmored unit, taking hits from a fully upgraded Castle Age Knight, it can be kept alive for a surprisingly long period of time, if it's being healed. I suspect if this were a general change to all monks rather than just for Byzantines, we'd see an uptick in how often monks are used on the front lines. For another example of how doubling the Byzantines healing rate makes them more viable, here we have 25 red pikemen against 20 cyan ones plus 3 monks, which gives us roughly balanced resources all around, and again the monk supported army wins, even with no conversions. If we switch out the Byzantine monks for generic ones, then the side that put the resources into pikemen wins, which again I think shows Byzantines have hit a critical point with their healing rate to arguably make this viable in a way it never was before. Part of what's working in their favor here though is we're talking about low damage units, so it's a bit easier to offset their attack with healing. In Imperial Age, with powerful units like elite cataphracts against a similar number of paladins, the paladins win of course, with a few units left over. Heavy cavalry in general is a soft counter to cataphracts, so nothing about that is too surprising. If we switch out 3 of the cataphracts for 4 monks, keeping the total resources relatively similar, in this case we don't see a dramatic improvement. Even with double the usual healing rate, it just isn't enough to keep up with a hard hitting unit like the paladin, and the cataphracts just don't survive long enough for the recovered HP to play a significant role. Similarly, with ranged units it's also not going to be as good of a tactic. With any sort of archer, there's too much focus firing on top of low HP, plus in a real situation the monks are just going to get sniped anyway. 
So to answer the original question, does doubling the Byzantines healing boost impact any conclusions of the previous video? I'd say yes, but with some caveats. Against low to medium damage melee units like Castle Age Knights or Pikemen, maybe even Imperial Age Trash units, there's an argument Byzantine Monks can provide some decent value while healing now mid-combat, whereas previously I couldn't find an instance of where that was true. Of course, Monks are a vulnerable unit, and there's a lot of baked-in assumptions here about keeping them safe from Siege, Archers, Light Cavalry, etc. You still need to be careful with them, and I would see this more as Monks being able to give your army some surprisingly good value even after they collect Relics or are recharging between conversions. Keep in mind this also stacks with bonuses and techs with other civilizations as well, meaning a sturdy Aztec or Slavic or even a discounted Bohemian Monk could potentially benefit from the bonus. That's all for this quick follow-up video though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.